hello friends welcome back to another video of tips and tricks so in this video we are going to see tips and tricks for super putty what super putty is it is kind of a wrapper or a software for the putty client so we have a lot of softwares we have a lot of wrappers which works with the putty client and uh, they are available for ssh connections to log into the unix servers but i have been using super putty from long time in my day-to-day -day work why I have been using super putty that is what we are going to see today in this video okay so let's start so to download super putty you can just uh, go to the Google and you can just uh, type super putty you get a page uh, like this and you just open it up you go to the bottom to the download section and just download this zip file so let me download it okay so it's downloaded let's go to that location okay so super putty also works the similar way like putty does it does not have to be installed it just have to be extracted here uh, so I'll be extracting at the same place I'll just remove this and extract it the download same location and there you go so it extracted here and if you see we already have these files and like putty you don't have to install it you just have the exe client and just run it that is all it needs same way super putty does not need to be installed like installer it just have to be unzipped and you can simply run it there you go so uh, this is the page which you would see for the first time when you open super putty and you have to give the putty location which is a required field for super putty to work so like i said it is kind of a wrapper software for putty so you just have to browse for your putty location and just select it so i have it here i just gave the putty location another required field for super putty to start is settings folder so this if you want to change you can change the settings folder to i'm leaving it as default and let's hit ok so this is what super putty looks when you start it for the first time it will have layouts tab it will have sessions tab and here at the top it will have uh, uh, the protocol I mean if you want to change the protocol like you have in putty and then the host name and the login name password and the session and the commands so all that we will be seeing how uh, that helps us make our work easier but let's start and add our sessions which we already added to the putty so let's do that from here so in files you have import sessions and there are three options right from file from putty settings so you just have to do putty settings and it will ask for the confirmation just hit yes and what it is gonna do whatever you have saved sessions in putty that it is gonna pop up here so if you see the putty i have three sessions saved here right ubuntu 01 ubuntu 02 and ubuntu 03 all those sessions will be pulled over to super putty so you see there imported from putty it imported all those three sessions here so now if you want to just log into any of these servers you just double click here and you are able to go to that server and log in right but we will be seeing all that later let's see the export how is that gonna work and that is one of the main reasons i have been using this super putty so the way you can simply import from putty the same way you can export it and re-import again other files so when you try to export it it is gonna export it as a xml file so let's save it as sessions the default what it is having and if you go to that downloads and if you see this sessions file it is gonna have all those details I'm opening it with the Microsoft Excel the XML file can be opened with Microsoft Excel so that is what I'm gonna do and this is an old uh, Excel so it is gonna ask some questions okay right so this is how it will look like in Excel that XML file so if you see here it is saying 
session id session name host ip the port you are trying to connect to and the protocol you are trying to connect to and the putty session right and if you remember on ubuntu 02 on putty we have configured the user name to as the default login so it is saying user one there right so this is how it will export your current session so if you want to export your current sessions take it somewhere else on a new server on a new machine or share it with someone else that all these servers are uh, where you can log in right well, like if you have a teammate and you want to share your sessions the default sessions which you have been working as a unix admin you can simply share this exported file from your putty and let them work on it right so that makes work easier now let's see how it makes work easier when you import it so suppose we have uh, 10 20 servers where we want to log in we want to work something I know we can do it remotely the way I have shown in previous video through uh, remote commands or remote SSH and we can Ansible or we can use uh, other tools to run the commands remotely but there are some occasions where you want to actually see the output what is happening on the servers right when you are executing a specific command and depending on the output you want to uh, run your next command right so that is where this becomes very easy and I, I have found this very useful okay now this session ID that is what gets displayed on your super putty okay so you can change this to be more relevant to what your server is just for the naming on the super putty not the server name for the naming on super putty so suppose i want to give this as test server one i can give that and if i want to give uh, my second server as test server two and if i want to give my last Ubuntu 03 name as LDAP server because that is actually a LDAP server what I'm using and let's remove this user 1 2 from here okay now how to import this to super putty right so for that you just have to hit ctrl a it will select all the table right click here you will see the XML you will see the options import and export so what do you have to do you have to just export it and you will get a file as xml files and you can name it whatever you want i have named it as import to super putty and let's export it okay so the file is exported now let's go to the super putty we have seen how to import sessions from putty settings this time we are gonna use from file and from file we are going to use the xml file which we just created right and open it so if you see here it added another tab as imported and if you expand it it is giving me the names as test server 1 test server 2 and ldap server right it is not showing me the names as ubuntu 01 02 and 03 rather it is giving me a display name as something different something more readable and relevant to me right so that is one of the feature which I have been using very often which I found very useful for myself. Okay now when all these servers are imported you can actually rename this tab because every time you import it it by default uses the imported as name. So just rename it as more relevant whatever uh, for whatever reason you imported these servers right. So for example I want to rename it WFH right. So that tab itself got renamed to WFH, right? Now, when the servers are imported, like I was saying that this becomes very easier when you are working on a lot of servers and you want to run some commands, see the output and depending on the output, you want to decide your next command, right? So you can simply right click here on the tab, the group which you just exported or uh, sorry, imported and you can just say connect all to connect all those servers in that group which you just exported from a file right so if you see here my ldap server test server 1 test server 2 all the prompts are open now how to log in 
so this is another feature which i like most about super putty so you see the commands tab whatever i type here that is gonna be going on all the three servers so if i type user one if you see here it went on this it went on this it went on this so all three servers i have typed in user one okay so now it is asking for the password you can enter the password to all the three servers together from this same commands field but you don't want to type your password world readable and show your password to someone who is sitting right next to you or who is standing behind you right so that also can be done from here and you can mask it whatever you're typing so if you see now it is showing me a star it is not showing me what i'm typing so let me type my password and just hit enter so if you see here it is taking my passwords on all three servers and on all three servers i'm being logged in without entering password individually on those servers right so from one place i gave the username from one place i gave the password and once you are done with the password you can just unmask it and if you want to run commands like clear you can simply hit ctrl l to clear all three servers see i just hit ctrl l in the commands and it cleared all three servers now whatever command you want to run like if i want to run oh, sorry my masking is not yet removed so let me remove masking so if i want to create run hostname command if you see here on all the servers i ran hostname command and in actual scenario you can run whatever commands you want to and depending on that commands result you decide what next command you want to run on individual servers and so on right so that is where it becomes very useful okay now this switching to the tabs you don't have to do it with the mouse that is also something can be automated very easily in super putty so let's see how can we achieve that so go to the tools go to the options and there you have a button or the tab as shortcuts so here if you see you have next tab and previous tab close tab and all those options so i'm going to show just next tab and previous tab so if you want to go to the next tab what i'm gonna use is control right okay that is what i want to use as my shortcut to move to the next tab and same way i can give control left for my previous tab okay and just click okay now i am here and without scrolling my mouse with control left and right i can scroll over to whatever servers i want right so this makes your work very much easy to run a set of commands in 10 12 20 servers and just scroll over take a peek on what was the result and decide on your further troubleshooting right that was shortcuts now if you want to close all the windows you can simply close all close others and close so if you want to keep the test server to and close all the others you can just click close others right and it will close all the sessions if you want to close all you can use close all and close is simply closing the session right and the other options are similar to putty okay so let's close this one too now if you want to edit the setting for a server you can do that too here so if you want to change the session name you want to change the ip for some reason that is also you can do it from here right and the way in putty if you want to configure the default username it to use you can do it from here right so let's take this ip and let's see these options so in the top if you see there is a host login and the password right so the host you can use it for logging to any of the servers like you would do on putty just give the host name or the ip give the username here and give the password so the password here is by default masked you don't have to mask it manually okay so if you see it will be using your default putty session when you are giving the host name here uh, so 
the whatever setting you have for your default input t that is gonna be used so that is why you are seeing the black screen right not the white screen which i have saved in the session for ubuntu 02 okay so if you're trying to log into a new server using the host it will be using your default setting now if you see the last option here it has session as default settings ubuntu 010203 so if you want it to use a session settings you can do that too so i want this to use the setting for the ubuntu 02 i can do that so now if you see here it is using my setting for this session ubuntu 02 and it is giving me the white background not the black default settings background okay so that is why there is that session okay so that was all i wanted to share in this video for super putty and the reasons i have been using it for this xml you can actually use other uh, editors too like if notepad is uh, something you want to use you can use notepad and any of the editors to modify the xml file but i find excel more easier more readable uh, so that's why i use excel to modify my xml file okay so we have come to the end of this session and that was all i wanted to share thank you for watching